Hello from San Antonio. This is Siren Tayro. That's the last time I will ever speak those words. This is my last pick a card reading for the foreseeable future. After today, <clears throat> no mas Siren Tayro, no mas extra basic tarot, no mas Patreon, no mas client readings for the foreseeable future. I hope to be back at this in early Pisces season 2023, but I don't know. It's a big fat question mark. So, um, timeless reading, but as I record this, it is the new moon in Capricorn, December 23rd, 2022. Timestamps will be provided. There are four options. This is option one. Option two. Option three. Quattro, option four. Think of your person of interest and make your selection. If you chose the first bracelet, here is your reading. You would love to keep this channel alive while I am on hiatus. You can watch my videos. There are hundreds. I still have the first pick a card reading I did for this channel, November 18th, 2018. I didn't have the gooseneck, the phone holder, so I was doing the cards with one hand holding up my little Samsung Galaxy with the other. It was pretty sad. And I really didn't know what the hell I was doing. I was just jumping into the shark-infested tarot tube waters. Still here, not giving up, but I will be on hiatus for probably a couple of months. Definitely not been all love and light. What surprised me was the hate I got from other readers. I mean, I can't imagine doing that, going to another reader's channel. As Siren Tayro, I mean, anonymously, I can, you know, that's an easy thing to do to go anonymously, but to go to someone's channel as Siren Tayro or as Extra Basic Tarot and say something tacky, I just. I don't get it, no comprende, but mostly it has been a positive experience. By having this channel, I've been able to take care of my credit card debt, start a savings account. And have a level of life, a quality of life that I've never experienced before. And I'm very grateful. Grateful for the positive feedback. I'm grateful to my subscribers, my patrons, my clients. Eight of Wands, Ocho de Bastos, Seven of Swords, Santa de Espadas. Three of Swords, Tres de Espadas.
Caballo de Espadas, Knight of Swords, Ray of Copas, King of Cups. So we have two signifiers side by side. El Sumo Sacerdote, the Hierophant. Six of Cups, Ace of Copas. Seven of Wands, they did the boss those. And Queen of Swords, Reina de Espadas. So it does look like third party, but I'm not going to get into all that. I'm describing how this person sees you. It looks like it's really complicated, but how do they see you? First of all, this person is extremely sexually attracted to you. But there's also some sweetness with the Six of Cups. That's a nice sandwich there. Eight of Wands and Six of Cups sandwiching this, which is open to interpretation, but I'm seeing intense admiration and even love. Nine of Swords. So sexy communication, romantic communication. You thrill this person like no one else. You have this person's heart to have King of Cups in the center like that. Could be a bit of an age gap. You could be a few years younger or vice versa. Um, there is some defensiveness though. This person could be holding back. But yeah, I'm not gonna get into that, the third party stuff. Um, a lot of obstacles, but they see you as someone who is very accessible. You're very warm and receptive. You're more feminine than they are. Um, you get them like no one else. They feel connected. They probably see you as a soulmate. Um, Whenever they're alone or lonely, they think of you. They feel better when they think of you. It's likely you are the warmest person they know. They're mystified by how you see all their flaws, but you don't judge. You love them as they are. They love you for that. And it works both ways. You both accept each other. You see each other as you are and you accept each other. And it's beautiful and it's rare. This is a rare connection. Um, I'm seeing a lot of distance. You could be on different continents. You could be in Tokyo. This person could be in Vancouver. Um, you're the most beautiful person they know inside and out. They love your heart. I'll just say this. If it is third party, if this person is with someone else, if they're married to someone else or in a relationship with someone else, the person they're with is very cold. Possibly verbally abusive. And you're the opposite of that. You're sweet. They love your sweetness. So if you chose pile one, you could have sun and cancer, Aquarius, rising, moon and Aries, it's just one possibility. This person could have sun and Scorpio, Leo rising, moon and Gemini. I feel like you and this person have at least one significant conjunction, such as Sun conjunct Moon, Moon conjunct Moon, Moon conjunct Venus, Mercury conjunct Mercury. But that's what I have for Pile 1. I hope that helps. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out. And if you chose the second bracelet, here is your reading. Okay. 
So like I was saying for pile one, if you love this channel and you would love to see it stay afloat during my hiatus, you could watch my videos, uh, binge watch my videos. I still have my first pick a card from November 18th, 2018. It's interesting to me to watch the progress from that first video to now. I had maybe two tarot decks when I started this channel with my Samsung Android phone. I didn't have a gooseneck, a holder. I was just doing the cards with one hand, holding the phone with the other. It was pretty sad, but cute. Um, it's been amazing to me watching this channel grow. The money that I've made. I have no credit card debt. I have a savings account. I have a really fucking good credit score. I'm really proud of that. Hope to be back in early Pisces season 2023. Toes and fingers crossed. Okay, Eight of Swords. So no Siren Tarot, no extra basic tarot, no Patreon, no client readings for the foreseeable future, but I will always ecstatically accept PayPal and Cash App donations. Muchas gracias. King of Cups, Nine of Wands, it's a four. Those are some affirmations that I wrote. Money comes to me freely and easily. Money is mine in 2020. Money is good. <laughs> A law of attraction, law of assumption. Um, I have mixed feelings. I'm not in the highest vibration right now. So how will I get into a high vibration? I will get my electric guitar and amp from the garage and just go to town. Although I can't play any chords, I will just strum the hell out of the guitar. And then I'll blast my New Moon and Capricorn playlist, 300 songs, and I will get the invisible tape and the scissors and ephemera magazines, and I will create art. That's how I wrote. Thinking back to 10 years ago, wow, um, shit, 10 years, December 23rd, 2012, how different my life was. About this time, looking at the stove clock, 3.38 p.m. About this time, December 23rd, 2012, I was walking into the Walgreens on Broadway in Alamo Heights, and I was shooting a video for my original YouTube channel, Evulence Press. I have 240 subscribers. I lost a subscriber today. <laughs> So I was, well, actually it wasn't for the channel, was it? Yeah, it was. It wasn't private. It wasn't unlisted. It was for a patron, not a patron, but someone who anon anonymously put hundreds of dollars in my PayPal account. I, I'm pretty sure it was a man. He said that um, he wanted me to keep writing. So I got last minute Christmas gifts. I sat in my SUV in the Walgreens parking lot and I played What Difference Does It Make by the Smiths and sucked on a jumbo peppermint cane in a very lascivious sexual manner, just making eye contact with the camera, my way of thanking the anonymous donor for the hundreds of dollars he put in my PayPal. 
Then I drove down to the Broadway 5050. I walked in, sat down, ordered a bacon cheeseburger, Negro Badello, and an attractive Latino approached my booth, invited me to join him and his sons in the back. They were shooting pool, slamming shots, so I did. And he turned out to be, unfortunately for me, the love of my life. Capricorn, Martin Sagittarius. Coyote Espada is not swords. And it's significant because two weeks before this happened, I had scrawled on a piece of notebook paper. I lit a pink candle and I scrawled that I wanted to meet a man who had Sun and Capricorn, Mars and Sagittarius. Single day Spadas, Five of Swords, Land Retreats, the Empress. I never really had any trouble manifesting love. All of my exes were manifested. I was always intentional. This is the kind of man I want to manifest. Never had much trouble with that. Money has been something else. It's a bit more challenging. Ace of Pentacles, Hustic Oros, Seven of Pentacles, Siete de Oros, Seven is Neptune, Pisces. Interesting. Two of Pentacles, those the Oros, all Earth on the bottom row. So they see you as someone who has natural beauty, charisma. You're really good at making and keeping money. Maybe you have a platform. Maybe you have a few YouTube channels. Maybe you have an OnlyFans. Maybe you are an influencer on Instagram. Maybe you're Drew Barrymore, um, but you get a lot of attention. You're beautiful. You're charismatic. But they feel like you're stuck in some way. Maybe they feel like you're successful, but you're not as happy as you could be. It's lonely at the top. So you have this empire, you're the empress of this empire, but you don't have your ideal person. And that's where they come in. That's what they're thinking. That's how they perceive this. They could liberate you. Uh, they could make your life a lot more interesting. Oh, I'm hearing, tell me something good, Chaka Khan. trouble is you ain't been loved like you should so this is the person to come in and just turn your world upside down so maybe they feel like they're the divine masculine and you're the divine feminine maybe they've gone down the twin flame rabbit hole i don't know but they feel a strong connection to you and they have a lot of admiration for you they may feel like you're the answer to their prayers this person could have sun and scorpio Gemini rising, moon and Taurus, one possibility of many. You could have sun and Taurus, Taurus rising, moon and Sagittarius. They want to rescue you. They want to take you to Fiji and toast you beneath the Fiji stars. I'm looking at my bottles of Fiji water. Okay, so that's what I see for pile two. I hope that helps, entertains, educates, elucidates. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out. And if you chose bracelet number three, here is your reading. So I'll say it for all of the piles. If you love this channel, if you would love to see this channel somehow stay afloat while I'm on hiatus, you can watch all my videos. I still have my first pick a card reading from November 18th, 2018, when I was just holding up my Samsung Galaxy phone with one hand and I was turning over the cards with the other. I had a couple of decks when I started this channel. 
I have probably over a hundred playlists. I make playlists for every new moon, every full moon. Just a casual glance at my playlist will show the blood, sweat, and tears I've put into this channel since November 18th, 2018. So, once I upload this video, Siren Taro is closed for the foreseeable future. No Moss Siren Taro, no Moss Extra Basic Taro, no Moss Patreon, no Moss Client Readings, but donations always ecstatically accepted. I have PayPal and Cash App. All the stuff is in the box. The star, La Estrella. The moon, La Luna, the empress, and most of my readings are timeless. So that's cool. Timeless reading, but as I record this, it is Friday, which is sponsored by Venus. December 23rd, 2022, new moon in Capricorn. You're so good looking, it's ridiculous. You are ridiculously hot. Strong sexual attraction. You are genetically blessed. You may be the best looking person they've ever seen. The song I'm hearing is Photograph, Def Leppard. Ray of Copas, King of Cups. This person is in love with you. It's not about their feelings, but I see this person being in love with you. They are smitten. Six of Spadas, Six of Swords, Quatro de Oros, Four of Pentacles. I feel like you are currently in a relationship with this person. They could be getting on a plane right now to come see you. They could be in Seattle. You could be in San Francisco or Orlando. I don't know, but I'm seeing distance and you're going to be Getting together soon. Sign your name across my heart. Two of Cups, those of Copas. Yeah, it's safe to say this person is crazy in love with you. To the Pentacles, the the Oros. You could be engaged. Or you're already married. Of swords, called the day of spotters. They feel like they manifested you. They may have asked you at some point, half serious, half joking, did you put a spell on me? Because they're thinking about you constantly. You are this person's ideal. And that is so rare. You know, it's rare for women. My experience as a heterosexual woman, it's been rare for a man to come into your life and really build you up. And he's not comparing you to his exes. Um, he's not comparing you to some model or some celebrity. You're it. You are the goddess. You're Venus. You're Aphrodite. I've experienced that twice with my two ex-husbands. But with the other exes, the lovers, the boyfriends, there was a lot of tearing down. You know. Um, anyway. So 
there's none of that here. There's no verbal abuse. There's no comparing you to exes. You're the best. You are the love of this person's life. So it's just, it's just good. It's gravy. Um, this person has you on a pedestal. They think about you constantly. They dream about you. This is the love of a lifetime. You could have Sun in Aquarius, Libra rising, Moon in Cancer. One possibility, this person could have Sun in Cancer, Taurus rising, Moon in Libra. You probably have at least one significant conjunction like Sun conjunct Moon, Moon conjunct Moon, Moon conjunct Venus. Venus conjunct Mars, Mercury conjunct Mercury. I'm seeing compatibility and I'm just seeing the gold standard. True love. It's pile three. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out. If you chose clock row, bracelet number four. God, this is a weird feeling. My last pick a card. My last pick a card in San Antonio. Future is a big fat question mark. It's kind of scary, it's kind of exciting. So as I said for the first three piles, if you love this channel and you want to see it stay afloat, you can binge watch the videos. I have hundreds of videos of this channel. I still have the first pick a card I ever did, November 18th, 2018. It was sad. It was ridiculous. I was holding my Android with one hand and doing the cards with the other. I didn't know what the hell I was doing when I started this channel. I was just jumping in. So, um, no moss Sarin Tarot, no moss Extra Basic Tarot, no moss Patreon, no moss Client Readings for the foreseeable future. However, I'm always accepting donations. PayPal, Cash App, everything's in the box. No moss. Ace of Wands, Four of Cups, Four of Pentacles, I remember those eight tracks and those clubs where you could get something insane like 10 eight tracks or eight cassettes for a penny. The Espada, Six of Swords, Quad of the Oros, Four of Pentacles, Rate of Copas, King of Cups. All these fours Four of Cups, Four of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles twice. Five of Swords, single day of Spadas. Five of Pentacles, single day of Oros. The Blazing Sword of Truth, Os de Spadas, Ace of Swords. Of course, 
pile four would be the most complicated. Okay, as you know, if you've watched a few of my videos, if you're a subscriber, if you've been subscribed for years, as you know, I'm not one of those readers who really gets into the labels that much. Twin Flames, Divine Counterparts, Soulmates, High Level Soulmates, Karmics. But this looks really karmic to me. You've probably been through a few cycles with this person. Stop, start, block, unblock. It looks really unhealthy. You fight a lot. So how do they see you? They see you as someone who is complicated. There is a really strong sexual component to this connection, strong sexual attraction. Um, but this person calls you out on your shit a lot. You probably both do. You probably trigger the fuck out of each other. Um, it's really, it looks like a love-hate relationship. I'm seeing extreme highs and extreme lows. They see you as the most complicated person they know. And these are my least favorite cards in the deck. Four of Cups and Five of Pentacles. I have one video at this channel talking about the Four of Cups called Entitlement. I made it after a less than wonderful client experience. And most of us, unless we're enlightened, I don't know any enlightened people, most of us grapple with the Four of Cups and the Five of Pentacles throughout our lifetimes, less than mentality, poverty consciousness, uh, feeling like we need someone to come in and put us in a high vibration, like we can't get into a high vibration on our own. So codependency, um, and it's this reminds me so much of my Capricorn ex. We were on and off for years until I just couldn't do it anymore. I'm too old. I turned 50 in a few months. You know, this kind of thing was fine for when I was in my 20s, but this should not be carried into your 30s and 40s. And I'm thinking of my dad. My dad is on his fifth marriage and his marriage is like this, on again, on again, on again, on again, on again, off again, separation, fights. I mean, really, in your 60s and 70s, that's ridiculous. So at some point you just say, no person on this planet is worth my peace of mind. Fuck this, I would rather sleep alone. So I'm seeing a very difficult dynamic here. They see you as someone who is hard to get along with. They see you as someone they possibly have the best sex of their life with. So a lot of makeup sex. Um, You wound this person with your words, and it's probably vice versa. You wound each other with your words. They see you as extremely stubborn, um, and you have a pronounced ego and a very fiery temper. So, You probably both have a lot of squares in your natal charts and you have a lot of squares in your synastry. You could have Sun and Aquarius, Gemini rising, Moon and Aries. You have a lot of masculine energy in your chart regardless of your gender. I feel like this person, your person of interest, they have more feminine energy. They could have Sun and Taurus, Taurus rising, Moon and Cancer. This person is a hypocrite because all of the negative stuff they see in you, they've got that same thing. You basically mirror each other. So that's what I see for pile four. And that does conclude this last pick a card reading from San Antonio. Thank you all so much for your support, all the love, all the encouragement, the feedback, the donations, the client readings. Sending you all massive love and light. 
from San Antonio.